What's up guys, Blademaster here with yet another faction focus, faction uh, highlight overview video. Um, this one is going to be focused on Pergamon. Pergamon is by far the worst faction in Total War Rome 2. A huge number of problems that uh, weren't fixed by uh, CA, including the really terrible, really overpriced shock cavalry in the Pergamene Noble Lancers and the Agima Spears being quite, quite craptastic. Um, that have been fixed in the blade balance mod of, of course the fact that they had uh you know only galatian swords are very good but they didn't have any mid-tier swords in a, a meta that was you know completely uh, about mid-tier swords didn't help them at all but i think the the reign of mid-tier swords not ha it hasn't gone but it's uh it's diminished uh, i would say because pikes and all are better in in blade balance more responsive i think arguably more responsive at least let's put it that way but uh, definitely more powerful when they are able to attack an enemy so in that sense they are just literally uh, it, that's all it takes to make a unit more powerful in any case so i'm going to go uh, play against uh, the ai and i'll try and live calm the um, the changes that are made to to pergamon the first big change was in the most problematic unit, I think, in the Pergamene Noble Cavalry. The Pergamene Noble Cavalry have had a, a fuck ton of buffs to them. I believe I've given them a slight boost to melee attack. I did give them a big boost to charge bonus. They had a 76 charge bonus, which is among the highest. Now it's up to an 82 charge bonus, which is literally the highest charge bonus in the game. I think I, I'm pretty. I'm 99% sure it's the highest charge bonus in the game. Still doesn't change the fact that they have very low armor and very low health. But they do have trample so these are one of those units that either can be uh, a unit that can one shot enemy cavalry and they are i think the only unit in the game that can one shot enemy cavalry like that or they can be the quickest most efficient general snipers in uh, in the game one charge with the pergamy noble cavalry will probably flatten a unit and bring it down to like around half strength or maybe at least 40 casualties on the charge uh, very it's probably the the closest uh, cavalry unit to um, attila-esque cavalry very very powerful but very very fragile that's the big problem with these units so you need to know how to use them pergamon definitely isn't a faction for for uh, beginners or people who just don't want to micro much I think this is sort of a decent army with uh, with Pergamon. It's going to be, it's going to be very top heavy and bottom heavy. It's not going to have much in the term of in in the form of mid tiers. Of course, there's not much uh, in the roster in the form of mid tiers. But I made it so that if you can use utilize both of these components correctly, you can definitely win a game against most factions for sure. So that's the first big change. The second big change uh, came to the Agima Spears. The Agima Spears were, I believe, medium uh, melee infantry units or maybe heavy. I've given them very heavy mass. Uh, I also gave them a, a better weapon damage, I believe. And uh, I think that's about it that I did, uh, that I gave for them. Uh, I think, I, oh, I gave them a higher charge bonus as well, 32 charge bonus. So they're one of those units that you can fire a lot of your ammo with. They're a very much more stable option for a general. Uh, so in that sense, they're, they're, um, they've improved a lot. At least you don't need to worry about, um, you, you don't have that, uh, that terrible problem of having a really shitty Pergamene Noble Cav general that would die in an instant or having a, an Agima Spears general that would die in an instant if he got charged at by enemy cavalry. Then, the big changes. Hellenic archers, uh, as is the case for all other factions, now have 150 range, which improves their uh, their, vers their use uh, usage in the, in the battle. This is part of wholesale changes that have uh, taken place uh, in the New Year's update to improve archers' uh, role in the game. Levy pikemen, of course, no need to talk about them too much. Levy pikemen and pikemen, just like all other pikes, have been improved. I think they've been improved. I think most people would agree that, they, that they've been improved can be used much more aggressively let's just put it that way mercenary Syrian archer for galatia here firing because they have 175 range since they have the elite uh, bow the long range bow the next big change is which is really really interesting comes in the picked peltist the picked peltist i didn't really know what uh, so all elite uh, javelin skirmishers peltist units have uh, a special ability now because i wanted to make them uh, more useful in late game i wanted to make them a more um, you know a more cost effective more actually that's not the word that i'm looking for more versatile unit uh, kind of a uh, semi melee infantry unit uh, you know for lack of a better term 
to that you know units that can perform well uh, in early game and then can perform well in late game as well. Uh, the kind of the way you know Peltis were utilized in um, you know in, in in historical battles, and I think this is probably one of uh, the most effective strategies to use with Pergamon. Charge in with all of your cav and then uh, pop in trample. Let's pop in trample now, and uh, then uh, follow up with uh, Galatian swords. Let's try and see how, how well the uh, Pergamy Noble Cap do. And then you're going to have to, of course, pull out. He pays Lancers, 27 kills. He pays Lancers, yeah, 44 kills. And then your Galatian Swords will just mop up everyone. And that's, so the, the big change to Picked Peltis now have Chant, which means, which is very useful because Pergamon, like I just said, are one of those factions that is both top heavy and bottom heavy. And the big problem with uh, you know with the low tier units is that the low tier units have very crappy morale. So in that sense, having the um, having uh, picked Peltus with Chant is so very very crucial um, for uh, for Pergamon because it gives you a unit that has that, that grants you know morale boosts for your really for your shit ton of. Um, for the amount of low tier units that um, that Pergamon have, and Pergamon have plenty of low tier units. Galatian swords have only 50, 40 base morale. Using Pick Peltis, if I if you, if I brought them closer, I could have actually used them much better. But um, Pick Peltis like that could be very very useful with uh, with their chant ability, granting very important morale boost for uh, the cheap units that Pergamon can field or Pergamon has to field. Next big uh, change has come to uh, Light Peltis, just like all other um, Light Peltis in the game. Uh, Light Peltis now have Quick Reload and Precision Shot, kind of like the Back Chin Peltis of Vanilla Rome 2, uh, to improve their versatility and their usefulness in the game, uh, you know, induce more players to bring them. Peltis have only Precision Shot, but they do have the bonus of uh, extra extra armor. Of course, the Back Chin Peltis still have a big advantage in that um, the Back Chin Peltis have both the uh, abilities of light peltis and they have the uh, the armor of regular peltis so the levy pikeman here let's try and issue an attack order with these guys uh, light peltis go fire in here a base lances charge in against that noble cab and then peltis can just chill around here uh, the arch is now doing okay galatian swords doing incredibly well pick peltis can just fire into this noble horse here if you can please and the galatian noblemen of course are going to do very well Against the <clears throat> against the levy pikemen, especially since they I don't know if their pikes really drop properly. Yeah, pikes still tend to drop out. There's honestly nothing that I can really do. I don't know how to change uh, pikes beyond this. Light pelt is here doing really well by killing off a lot of the um, a lot of the elite. Cavalry. So yeah, the uh, the pig peltis, light peltis, these peltis units are very very good at uh, killing off uh, expensive uh, enemy units. Uh, you know, if even if they're well armored because of precision shot and stuff like that. And I really like the chant ability. And I think it's a pity that many most other units don't have the chant ability. Uh, but it's you know it's it's good. It's a it's a very unique ability that only the druidic nobles had. But now I think pick peltis. Uh, it's a it's a good idea to give uh, pick peltis this this ability too. Uh, even the levy pikemen they have an improvement in morale to 52. The gima spears are near unbreakable with <laughs> with uh, chant. Archer is even doing well. So yeah, that's, I think that's about it for, for the changes for Pergamon. But I think while the changes aren't as numerous as Carthage, I think the changes are uh, very powerful changes. And uh, they will help help out Pergamon a whole lot. Let's just go ahead and get a nice little cinematic charge against the Galatian noblemen with the uh, Pergamon noble cavalry. I want to take a quick screenshot as well. Holy shit, the amount of jabs. Uh, let's put this on T. And let's try and take a look at how many kills the Perg Pergamine Noble Cav get. So that initial charge just flattened all the enemy Galatian swords and I think that's probably the best way to use uh, the Shock Cavalry in Pergamon. You're going to want to help out your, uh, you know, your cheap melee infantry with as much of, you know, with chant and with uh, frontal charge from their expensive shock cav and of course I think using uh, bringing some peltis and light peltis it can be very very beneficial and of course bringing a pike line with Pergamon in blade balance mod is basically necessary 
But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this faction overview. Uh, fewer changes than Carthage in uh, in Pergamon's favor, but very very important changes I think, uh, and very powerful changes. Uh, leave a like if you agreed, and let me uh, drop a comment in the Blade Balance discussions thread for Pergamon um, if you want anything changed or if you think Pergamon's too OP. <laughs> nice joke. Anyways, guys, uh, that's the end of this faction overview video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and stay tuned for more. Peace.